Welcome to the Forgotten Layer video tutorial. This is Phoenix. I'll be teaching you how to make shrapnel as seen on my endless wall to wall paper with Andy. It's this stuff right here. Okay. Alright. So, you don't necessarily need a tablet for this, but it helps. But this right here was done with a mouse, so it works. Okay. So, we have a new canvas. Let's make the background black because our shrapnel is light color. Make a new layer. Layer 1. Foreground color white. Use the pen tool, make some random shape, a little curve, that's good. Fill path, foreground color, it's going to be white. There's going to be a bit of a delay because I'm recording foreground color white, so you have your shape. Delete path. Okay, now take, what you're going to do now is press control and tap layer one on your layer palette. If you're using a Mac, it would be the Apple key. Put some marquee around it so you're working within the shape. Let's make a new layer. We're in layer two now. Take the gradient tool. It's going to be from black to transparent. Put a bit of shade. Doesn't really matter at this point. Okay, we're good. And then after you do that, filter, noise, add noise, um, you want it monochromatic. You don't want too much, like that's too much. You just want to add a little bit of texture. So, oh, it's not that flat and fake and shiny. 4.8 is what I have it to. That's good. Then you're going to do another layer. This is layer 3. Now we're going to go zoom in real close. Take the brush at 100 capacity. One pixel hard brush, hard brown brush, just make some scratch marks. They don't have to be uniform, they don't have to be the same, just randomly. That was with black, now with white, trace over it, it doesn't have to trace over exactly. You don't have to trace over the full thing, you can put black over it again. Okay. That's good. So now it looks nice and fake. So what we do is add a layer mask. And then we're going to brush it at 20 opacity or under. Try it out yourself. With this 59 default kind of pixely thing. Just tap over it. So you make some of it disappear a bit. That's good. Want to make some more come back. You just tap it with white. Okay, so now we're going to put layer 1 marquee around it again because we lost it when doing a layer mask. Then uh, make another layer with the brush still at 20. Let's use a round soft brush, 200 pixels, and just kind of dab on top of that. Right. And then uh, if you want some color, let's say your background, um, first make a new layer. Let's say your background, there's something exploding. Mine was kind of blue in the endless waltz. Let's make it, um, I don't know, red, fire. Also tap it. You can play around with the blending options. Multiply, soft light, overlay. I'm going to stay with multiply. Okay, take off the select, deselect. So it looks like that. And now the fun part. Go back to layer 1 on the palette. That's the base layer. We're going to right click blending options. We're going to give it an inner shadow. Now for the inner shadow, make the distance 0. Make the choke whatever. You play around with it. See what you like. And you can change the angle too. Okay. Now here's the important part. Bevel and emboss. We're going to make the technique not smooth, but chisel hard. And we're going to make, we can play around with the size. But the best part is this gloss contour. Let's give it this shape right here, or this one. Play around with it, see what you like. That's cool. It's really dark though. That's kind of cool. And then just play with the angle of the lighting in the shading area. See? 